welcome back to yet another episode of Umpteen Time Hearing. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Bill, your host, bringing you yet another piece of music from the collection I have rattling around in my brain. Uh, the two goals, really, of this whole podcast, for those of you new to the channel, tuning in for the first time, is one, to present a whole collection of uh, lesser-known music, uh, offbeat songs, most of them from the 80s, uh, just so that uh, folks who might not have heard of them you know, even though it's my umpteen time hearing, hoping it might be your first time hearing, or perhaps your first time hearing in maybe a couple of decades. Uh, and the other uh, goal here is to provide a whole variety and cross-section of music. So if you're tuning in today for the first time, maybe you know Screaming Broccoli from way back in the day, you're one of the small number of people that do, that'd be great. Or if you're just checking it out because the name caught your eye. Whether you like this kind of music or not, whatever you think of this, Check out some of the other programs on the channel, some of the other episodes. There's a whole variety of music with some artists that you might not have heard of otherwise. But for today, though, I've got a band. Uh, you know, the last four episodes, I've been covering artists out of England. And as I mentioned at the end of the last episode, time to bring it back home a bit. And in fact, I'm bringing it way back home for me. See, this is a band that was formed in Burlington, Vermont, my home state. Uh, active in the mid late 80s, and I'm talking here about Screaming Broccoli with their iconic single, Let's Bury Bob. Now, this is a band that I, of course, uh, discovered in my college years, as is true of a lot of this music, uh, even though they were, you know, from Vermont, where I'm from. You know, Vermont is a small state, but there's lots to Vermont if you're just one person. <laughs> I grew up in rural Vermont, so didn't really know the music scene. And of course, these guys emerged while I was in college in upstate New York. Uh, but it was the fact that we're, we're, they were from Vermont, as noted on the uh, little sticker that was on the cover there by whoever had written up notes on the artist. I'll say, though, it was actually the name of the band and then the cover art, which you'll see in just a bit, that first caught my eye. Uh, and then finding out that they were from my home state, hey, had to give them a shot, played it, loved it a lot, played it on the station all the time, and brought it home, played it for my friends when I would see them uh, in, uh, on breaks, one of those being a guy named Bob. So needless to say became a bit of a cult hit for us. Now, in trying to do some research on this group, because I really didn't know much about them, and still don't, uh, of course, mid-late 80s, I mean, email was just starting to be a thing. There was no social media, no YouTube. Uh, Wikipedia doesn't even have a page on, these group, on this group. So there just isn't a lot out there, almost nothing. Uh, one thing I did discover, though, is that there is a band with the exact same name, Screaming Broccoli, based out of Staten Island, uh, started in, I believe, the 90s, uh, largely a cover band doing you know, weddings, private functions, corporate events. Uh, don't know that much about them, but the only point to make here is that is not the band that we are going to be <laughs> playing on the podcast today. Uh, I did come across one uh, blog spot called... Uh, Willful Obsolete, I believe, as I recall the name, is pinned down in the top comment. I may be drawing a bit of a blank on the name. Willful, I think Obsolete. Uh, only got a couple paragraphs on them, uh, but it's about the only information that's out there. So take a look at that if you want. Uh, I've pinned a couple of other videos of theirs down there. And as always, while you're down there, take a, please click on the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Don't forget the notifications bell if you want to hear about some of the other upcoming artists. Maybe you find someone different if you're not all that into Screaming Broccoli, or if you are into Screaming Broccoli, still find someone different. And then certainly appreciate the likes and leave your comments. Let me know what you think about the idea of this podcast and about the artists themselves. Uh, but for now, though, no need to wait any longer. Let's get right into it. This is Screaming Broccoli with Let's Bury Bob.
Oh, yeah. Screaming Broccoli, Let's Bury Bob. That song never gets old, I tell you. I think that is just as great now as I thought it was back in the college days 30-something years ago, whatever that was. So, as I say, there's not a whole lot of information out there about Screaming Broccoli. Uh, you know, there's probably lots and lots of bands in, in college towns all around the country and around the world that don't have pages on YouTube uh, or pages on Wikipedia or anything like that. But I do have one personal story. I mean, there's going to be folks out there who may have known them. Hopefully some of them see this video and have their little comments as well. Uh, but for me, the story is this. I, like I say, I've mentioned before, I grew up in Vermont. I'll be in rural Vermont, uh, about an hour and a half out away from Burlington. Uh, but in college, I found out about this band, found out they were from Burlington. And I actually had decided that I wanted to live in Vermont. Uh, it's just a part of how I grew up and wanted to come back to the state. So I moved, you know, wanting to get more... Uh, uh, exposure to, you know, city, not city living, but a larger environment than the farms of rural Vermont, I moved to Burlington right after graduating. So graduated, next day I'm in Burlington, and the next day after that, I'm while walking around the city, and Burlington has these uh, public billboards where people can put up posters about upcoming events or music performances or a local theater or whatever it may be. So graduate, Moved to Burlington, next day walking around, and I see one of these posters for Screaming Broccoli. Great! Their last show. Oh. It was the night before. Oh. I was in Burlington. I could have seen Screaming Broccoli for their last gig ever, and I didn't find out about it till the next day. Life sometimes throws you curveballs, don't it? Anyway. That's my little story to wrap up the program today. If there's any folks out there who knew Screaming Broccoli, saw them back in the day, uh, listened to their music, by all means, add your comments down below there. Let me know what you think. While you're down there, if you're new to the channel, don't forget that subscribe button, the notification bell if you want to hear some other music. And as always, appreciate any thumbs up for those likes. For now, though, oh, coming up next week, another band that started out as a small local band, this one made it significantly bigger, but though I do have sort of a personal family tie-in in this case for this band from where they're from. Uh, and I discovered them early on in their career before they became quite well known. So, and got to see, the, the, unlike Screaming Broccoli, I got to see this artist three different times. So there's a story behind all of that too. You're going to have to wait for next week on it. For now, I'm Bill wrapping up Umpteen Time Hearing. Thanks so much for watching. As always, may the best of your past be the worst of your future. Have yourselves a great day. Bye now.